वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट रेडिएशन फ्रॉम हर्ट्स डायपोल सो लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ ए हर्ट्स डायपोल और वी कैन से दैट हर्ट्स एंड डायपोल सो इट इज एन एलिमेंट्री सोर्स कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ ए इलेक्ट्रिक करंट एलिमेंट ऑफ एन इनफाइनाइट डेसिमल लेंथ इन द स्पेसिफाइड डायरेक्शन सो हेयर इज द वर्टिकली ओरिएंटेड जेड एक्सिस horizontally oriented y axis and the direction of this x axis is being perpendicular to the plane of paper that is perpendicular to the z axis as well as y axis and let us consider a current carrying element here so here is the current carrying element that is excited by the ac of the infinitesimal length ideal so this is the current carrying element that we supposed here of the length ideal and this current carrying element is placed on the vertically oriented z axis only and let us have a look at this point a so here is the point a in the space this point a in the space is maintained at the distance r from this current carrying element so this is the distance from the point a and this distance is nothing but equals to small r only okay and if we make it in the bottom side also then here is the point a and here is also a distance that is equals to small r and here is an angle that is theta only and it makes an angle of 5 with the x axis so this is all about the current carrying element or we can say that hertzian dipole now this lecture is basically divided into four parts first of all we will discuss about the magnetic vector potential after that we will find out the component of the magnetic field intensity then similarly we will find out the component of electric field intensity and in the final step we will find out the fields that are generated by the hertzian dipole so let's come on to the first part that is magnetic vector potential so the magnetic vector potential is given as this magnetic vector potential that is a vector here is the a vector that is being given as az and since it is oriented in the z direction that's why here is a unit vector in the z cap also the value of a vector that is magnetic vector potential will be equals to mu over 4 pi i not e to the power j omega t into dl e to the power minus j beta r over r in multiplication with the unit vector that is z cap and let me give it as equation number 1 now if we talk about the spherical coordinate system then in spherical coordinate system the components will be look like the first component is denoted by a subscript r and it will be equals to az cos theta if we talk about the second component that is a theta and the value of a theta will be equals to minus of az sin theta and third component is the a phi and its value always be equals to zero only so these are the three components of the magnetic vector potential 
so as we discussed and completed the first part that is calculation of component of magnetic vector potential so let's move on to the second part that is the calculation of component for the magnetic field since we know that the magnetic field can be given by the relation that is mu h that will be equals to del cross a and we can also say that this magnetic field intensity will be equals to 1 over mu in multiplication with del cross a so let's calculate the curl of this vector component a in the spherical coordinate system so this h vector will be equals to 1 over mu as it is and inside the bracket here is the r square sin theta and here is the determinant for the calculation of curl that is first of all we will write r then second one we will write r theta cap and finally we will write r sin theta and phi cap this is the standard procedure for the determinant and the calculation for the spherical coordinate of curl now we will simply write firstly del over del r then we will write del over del theta then finally we will write del over del phi and then we write the components of this a vector that we calculated that is a r and then r a theta and finally we will write r sin theta and a phi this is the procedure to calculate the curl of a in the spherical coordinate system we know that in case of the Hertzian dipole there is no dependence of this a vector onto the phi component so since there is no dependence of a vector on phi that's why we can say that this del over del phi will be absolutely equals to zero only and we will simply put the value of a r a theta and e a phi from the value of magnetic vector potential that we calculated earlier so simply writing the values it will be equals to 1 over mu this r square sin theta will come out and this will be written as mu into r square sin theta and here is the determinant so r r theta cap r sin theta phi cap and this is the closing of determinant this del over del r as it is then del over del theta and since del over del phi is equal to 0 only that's why we will write 0 and we calculated that the value of ar is nothing but equal to az cos theta and the value of a theta is equal to minus of az sin theta and here is r component also so minus of r into az sin theta and finally we know that the value of a phi is equal to 0 so this whole component will become 0 only if we solve this determinant then we will get the three component for magnetic field intensity and these component are on solving we get first of all we get r component that will be equal to 0 only then we get theta component that will be equal to 0 and finally we get h phi component that will be equal to i naught dl 
e to the power j omega t minus j beta r sin theta over 4 pi j beta over r plus 1 over r square so this is our equation number 2 this is our equation number 3 and this is our equation number 4 and our second step is now complete now let's move on to the third point or the step that is calculation of the component for the electric field since the electric field can be given by the relation del cross h that will be equals to j omega epsilon into e vector and since we know that the value of this e vector is equals to 1 over j omega epsilon into del cross h by simply putting this j omega epsilon in the denominator we got this term now let's calculate the component of electric field so 1 over j omega epsilon and let's calculate its curl so similarly following this procedure that is r square sin theta and here is the determinant and this is the bracket closing firstly we will write r then we write r theta cap then we write r sin theta phi cap then we will write del over del r then we will write del over del theta then finally we write del over del phi then we will write the component of h that is magnetic field intensity so here is the r component hr and then we write r into theta component and after that finally we write r sin theta into phi component now let's put the value that we evaluated so here are the three values that we evaluated that is hr s theta and h phi so we will simply put this three value into this determinant so the value of this electric field will be equal to 1 over j omega epsilon in multiplication with 1 over r square sin theta and inside this determinant here is r cap here is r theta cap and here is r sin theta phi cap here is del over del r here is del over del theta sorry here is theta and since we know that the value of del over del phi is equal to 0 only so here we will write 0 only and we know that the value of hr is 0 so in place of hr we write 0 we know that h theta value is also 0 so in place of h theta we write 0 here and this whole term will be replaced with the value of h phi so here is r sin theta into h phi now on solving we get the value of r component that is er that will be equal to i naught into dl cos theta e to the power j omega t minus j beta r over 4 pi omega epsilon in multiplication with beta over r square minus j over r cube next we will find out the component of theta for the electric field that is i naught dl 
साइन थीटा ई टू दी पावर जे ओमेगा टी माइनस जे बीटा आर ओवर फोर पाई ओमेगा एप्साइल इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन विथ जे बीटा स्क्वायर ओवर आर प्लस बीटा ओवर आर स्क्वायर माइनस जे ओवर आर क्यूब एंड फाइनली द कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड फॉर फाइ विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो ओनली सो दिस इज आवर फिफ्थ इक्वेशन दिस इज आवर सिक्स इक्वेशन एंड दिस इज आवर सेवेंथ इक्वेशन सो दीज आर द थ्री मैग्नेटिक फील्ड कॉम्पोनेंट एंड दीज आर द थ्री इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड कॉम्पोनेंट दैट यू ऑल गाइज शुड रिमेंबर फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन एंड फाइनली आवर स्टेप नंबर थ्री इज नाउ कम्प्लीट नाउ हियर इज द स्टेप नंबर फोर दैट इज द फील्ड जनरेटेड बाय हर्ट्स एंड डायपोल सी बेसिकली देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ फील्ड दैट इज बींग जनरेटेड बाय द हर्ट्स एंड डायपोल द फर्स्ट फील्ड इज रेडिएशन फील्ड दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन द वेरिएशन ऑफ वन ओवर आर पैरामीटर सेकेंड फील्ड इज द इंडक्शन फील्ड दैट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द वेरिएशन ऑफ वन ओवर आर स्क्वायर पैरामीटर द थर्ड फील्ड इज द इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक फील्ड दैट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द वन ओवर आर क्यूब वेरिएशन इफ वी प्लॉट इट्स ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन सो इट विल लुक लाइक दिस हियर इज द इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक फील्ड and this is our induction field and finally this is our radiation field and here is the point at which all these three field come into the same plane so here is a line if we draw then this coordinate will come out to be lambda by 6 and what does it means it means that here lambda by 6 is called look point where all these three fields become equal so this is all about the look point here is the lambda by 6 and it, this lambda by 6 point is known as look point where the electrostatic field induction field as well as the radiation field are become equal to each other so this is all about the hertz and dipole if you like my videos then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button thank you and goodbye